Jailhouse video captures Placer County Sheriff's deputies rushing inmate Bo Bangert with a shield before punching Bangert in the face. Three jail officials hold on to Bangert as one appears to put him in a chokehold. Then again, more blows to the head. The assault continues with knees to the body and another deputy using her taser. Four more deputies enter the small cell before Bangert is eventually removed. The result of this case and other cases of excessive force, a $1.4 million settlement to be paid to more than 200 former inmates, according to attorney Mark Marin, who represented Bangert and the settlement class. Marin released this video today. Our view is the way changes occur is when the public uh, can see what really goes on. And if you cloak uh, in secrecy the behavior of deputies in jail, then you, it goes to the lowest common denominator. Part of the settlement also includes changes to jail policy and practices. Inmates who believe they're the victim of excessive force can file grievance forms, which will be audited by Marin and the court. We're able to select individual uh, cases for scrutiny to make sure that they are in fact uh, changing their procedures and uh, properly responding to those kinds of grievances. The sheriff's office says other wholesale changes have already been made. We've increased the number of cameras in the jail significantly. We've increased server space so that we can retain those videos much longer. You, uh, in the past, it's been three years. Now we can retain those videos much longer. We've done a lot of training for our deputies and correctional staff, both in dealing mentally Ill, mental health inmates, as well as uh, de-escalation de techniques and other factors. Three jail officials were arrested, charged, and fired amid several investigations into allegations of excessive force. Criminal charges were later dismissed against Megan Yaws, while Robert Madden and Jeffrey Villanueva pled no contest to charges of felony assault. The sheriff's office says it wanted to release the videos, but had to consider prosecution by the DA's office as well as civil suits and didn't want to impact any of those cases. In Auburn, Max Resnick, KCRA 3 News.